Okay, what's going on folks? Mr. Brunsvold here. Uh, I'm here just to uh, give you a short little video uh, that should help you with um, uh, how to draw Lewis dot diagrams. Uh, now one neat tool that I found uh, was that uh, there's a periodic table built right into your iPad. So you can kind of see mine in the bottom left hand corner here. You can also download that from self-service uh, if you don't know where to find that. Um, but here, I'm going to click on that app right here. Um, and what you should get is a periodic table that looks kind of like this. Um, and one thing that's really cool about this periodic table um, is that it will uh, uh, show you how to draw the Lewis dot diagram. So for example, if I click on nitrogen, nitrogen is the one, two, three, four... Five. It's the fifth element in its row, so it should have five valence electrons, and we can see that represented in the Lewis dot diagram. Um, if you look at the uh, giant pink element up in the corner, um, you can see that you have a nitrogen atom with one, two, three, four, five electrons around it. Um, and so I think this is a really neat tool. It'll show you the proper way to draw um, a Lewis dot diagram. Um, the reason why I'm showing this to you is some of you seem to be getting confused on elements like selenium, for example. So if you look at selenium, you might think it's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, sorry, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You might think that it's the sixteenth element in its row, so it should have sixteen electrons around it. But when we do this, we actually don't count that block that's in the middle there. So like, for example, uh, scandium, titanium, uh, uh, gold, all, all of these elements in this area right here, we don't count them as we count across. So for selenium, it's actually the first, sec first second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth elements and so for its Lewis dot diagram it should have six dots around it and so you should see that in the picture up above here that in that Lewis dot diagram there's only six electrons around it similarly bromine should have seven right if you look at bromine if you look at the Lewis dot diagram up in the picture up there you should see seven electrons same thing with iodine in the picture up there it only has seven electrons um, so uh, I will uh, post um, this video at a couple places on Schoology and hopefully um, uh, this will help you with drawing Lewis, Lewis dot diagrams in the future. As always, if you're having troubles, reach out to me. I'm here to support you. Okay, thanks.